Kickstarter backers, it's Hank with more information for the Microcosmos Microscope, which is here and you've seen some photos of it headed into a place where it will sit before it can be shipped. We're working on that. Some good news has been on the horizon there. Um, after bad news, of course, the initial delay of everything being very slow in shipping. But I just received all of these different filters. So there's, oh gosh, I haven't counted. Hold on, maybe 33, probably not exactly 33. Probably a, a slightly more than that. Is there one in my tray right now? There is, 34, at least 34. Uh, and there are basically two kinds of filters here. These are your dark field filters. So like bright field, all of the light comes through the sample. These block the light that's coming directly from the bottom of the sample, but they allow light to go through. So like, <laughs> I'll show you, but they, they allow light to go through the the organisms on the sample without going through the bottom of the thing so that the organism appears to be on a dark background, which is really pretty. And then there are tons of, of these, which are various kinds of oblique illumination filters. And some of these are dark field. I believe that this one is dark field. Um, but then they make the sample, the, the specimen, whatever you're looking at, look different based on the sort of how it allows light to come through. Again, I don't know if I've said this, but part of the process of this is like, I'm not a microscopist, and so I wanted to have a beginner microscope, and so I came into it as a beginner. Somebody could explain why and how this works, but it looks different, and it looks cooler. It gives more depth, usually, is what oblique illumination does. The edges are more defined, etc. So I'm going to prepare a slide from this sample that I just took at a wetland. I put it in a pill container. This is a good sample container. Um, I have a lot of prescription drugs because I have ulcerative colitis, so I have a lot of these. And I don't know what's in it. I haven't looked in it yet, but it is from a warm pond. And warm ponds have life in them. So we're gonna see what's in this thing. And then I'm gonna show you bright field, dark field, and some oblique illumination filters. And I'm excited. All right, so I've got just, uh, just some filamentous algae, I think is what this is called. Uh, and this is on normal, so this would be like aperture all the way open. And you can see these like cool helical structures inside of the, the cells and the cells are in these like long lines. And you like, it's amazing because you can actually like see these things. They're super long and they tangle up with each other. I haven't found much cool in here. I think probably the pond, oh, what's that? Something, something, some little friend. Some little rotifer. Then if you close down your aperture, everything sort of comes more into view. And that's like the, that's your like basic tool, regardless of what you're doing, um, that you can sort of open it up to see more color, close it down to see more detail. So this is, I'm about to put the, one of the, sm I think the smallest one in, at least one of the smallest ones in, and I'm gonna just slide that right in here. And then I'm gonna open up the aperture. <laughs> and now we have dark field. Oh gosh, now we have dark field and it looks so cool. You can actually see in this little air bubble right here, you can see the uh, the filter I've put in. So that's one way to know what shape filter I've put in. Now, if you go to um, the next magnification level up, this will still be dark field and it will still look cool. But if you go to uh, 600, it will no longer be dark field. Now, it's still cool, still looks great, uh, but if you, you can then move up and put in a different one that has a wider, a larger circle in the middle. And that is how you get to dark field at higher magnifications. Now you can actually mix uh, these filters with Reinberg filters, so the colored filters. Uh, I'm gonna take a small dark field and then an orange filter and I'm gonna throw them in together. The orange filter light is going through the algae now. Um, and also, another way to affect things. So now we're getting a little bit of an oblique illumination effect. I've just put the filter in halfway, which looks super cool. And you get that depth effect. That's what, so I'll go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what oblique illumination gets you. And there are a bunch of different ways to get oblique illumination and a bunch of different ways that that looks. But um, this gives you kind of a, a faux version of when James is doing his DIC microscopy, that creates that kind of effect. And one of the one of the tricks of the of this particular trade is moving as we move these filters in and out, like leaving them in different places 
as you move in and out because it isn't just like the filter in its like final confirmation which is there anywhere you put this thing you're going to get a slightly different effect i'm going to put a darker blue uh colored filter in so you can see a little bit more of the effect that i'm talking about here so yeah see that's just dope right there and then as i move now the dark field is all the way in place but the sample is being lit by blue light and then as we move out oh that's dope oh let's zoom out a little bit here um oh and see that's nice you get a gradient effect so as with most things in this little world there's a little weird algae algae clump that's interesting there's just a lot of weird stuff you can do um but so that's the the specifically the dark field filters and you can get illumination oblique illumination with a dark field filter just by moving it in and out but there are other filters so that's what you get with your oblique illumination filters now you can move them in and out and get different effects you can add reinberg filters you cannot stack the obliques uh with uh at all that's not an option available because they're too thick um but there are lots of different filters that you can put on and see what happens we've made sure that there's a lot available this is a cool one so this is let me go to 40. oh it gives me a dark field on 40. interesting this has just got like a little rectangle cut out of it and that looks nice i like that Ooh, that's too much too much algae and then if i go to 100x now i'm just now I'm getting pure oblique. So this is with, this is without, um, and that looks cool. Just, that's what you get. That's the difference. And it's just a better picture. I'm sorry. It just looks cool. Do you like it better with or without? With and in the middle a little bit. So it's also dark field or without. This is the last one I was using. I, I really like the effect from this one. When the hole was when the hole was in the middle, that's gonna let the light through and that'll be a, a bright field filter. And then you've got these, which is sort of a mix of bright and dark and you sort of move it around. Looks very cool. These sizes both work well for 40 and 100 times magnification. Um, but when you go up to 600 times, you need the bigger boy, this one, to get dark field out of it. Um, obviously there are a lot of these and as we have discussed, I'm just, I have the most beautiful, really neat, not at all worrying microscope setup. You can experiment with them, play around with them. You can stack with the Reinbergs. That's what these are. Um, and that gets you even cooler effects and makes it even fancier looking. Thanks for supporting our microscope Kickstarter. I'm so excited to get all this stuff to you. Um, the Reinberg filters are in our warehouse now. The Microscopes are waiting to be shipped, uh, and these are also being manufactured as we speak and, and maybe are on the way as well. So this won't turn out really well. We had to make these from scratch, and we were a little bit worried about it for a moment, but they slide in perfectly now, and the effect is just so fantastic that I'm so glad that we did it. Thank you, and we will be back with more updates soon.